Hi everyone. The HMY Royal Caroline was a royal yacht with a ship rigging. It was intended to succeed HMY Carolina as the primary royal yacht of Britain. The construction, building, and launching of HMY Royal Caroline in 1749 were carried out with meticulous attention to detail and under the supervision of skilled shipbuilders and naval architects. HMY Royal Caroline was commissioned in 1749 to replace the existing royal yacht, HMY Carolina, as the primary vessel for royal use. The design of the yacht was entrusted to Joseph Allen, the surveyor of the navy at that time. The construction took place at Deptford Dockyard, a renowned naval shipyard on the River Thames in London. The master shipwright overseeing the construction was John Holland, who played a crucial role in ensuring the quality and adherence to specifications during the building process. The ship was built to a very high standard, and she was equipped with the latest technology. The hull was made of oak, and the deck was made of teak. The ship was also fitted with a new type of rigging that made her more maneuverable. Skilled artisans and craftsmen were employed to adorn the ship with intricate carvings, gilded elements, and other decorative features. The construction of the HMY Royal Caroline took two years. The ship was launched on January 29, 1750, in a ceremony attended by King George II and Queen Caroline. It was dismantled after 70 years of service. After its launch in 1750, HMY Royal Caroline served under various commanders and underwent several notable events until the turn of the century. Initially commanded by Captain Sir Charles Malloy, Royal Caroline operated under his leadership until 1753. Captain Sir Piercy Brett assumed command in 1754. In August 1761, the yacht underwent a significant transformation when it became the flagship of Admiral of the Fleet Lord Anson, with Captain Peter Dennis serving as his flag captain. Under Admiral Lord Anson's command, Royal Caroline was tasked with conveying Duchess Charlotte of mecklenburg strelitz from Cuxhaven, Kiel to marry George III. The yacht was renamed HMY Royal Charlotte in honor of the occasion. Accompanied by a squadron of warships and other royal yachts, HMY Mary, Catherine, Augusta, and Fubs, the voyage faced challenges, including being blown over to the Norwegian coast by westerly gales. Became the flagship of Admiral of the Fleet Lord Anson in 1761, highlighting her prestige and capabilities. Peter Dennis took command in December 1761 and continued to serve until 1770. Captain John Campbell assumed command in 1770 and remained in charge until his promotion to Rear Admiral in 1777. Commanded by Captains Campbell and then Cornwallis, serving as a royal yacht for various purposes. HMY Royal Charlotte have participated in minor naval activities during the American Revolutionary War, though specific details are scarce. Royal Charlotte was recommissioned under Captain William Cornwallis in March 1783. Captain Sir Hyde Parker succeeded Cornwallis in 1788. The yacht was briefly recommissioned in December 1792. She was paid off the following year, marking the end of its active service. The Royal Caroline was known for her luxurious accommodations and extravagant furnishings, befitting her role as a royal yacht. Her presence often marked significant state occasions and celebrations, solidifying her symbolic importance. Despite being primarily a royal vessel, she was equipped with weaponry and could potentially contribute to naval operations if needed. Overall, the HMY Royal Caroline's service between 1750 and 1800 showcases her multifaceted role as a prestigious royal yacht, a flagship, and a participant in naval affairs.
After the year 1800, during the French Revolutionary and Napoleonic Wars, HMY Royal Charlotte continued to play a role in various official capacities. The yacht remained active during the French Revolutionary and Napoleonic Wars, and King George III frequently utilized it for official occasions. King George III made regular trips aboard his yachts, including Royal Charlotte, to welcome returning fleets and conduct fleet reviews. In 1797, after the Battle of Camperdown, King George III embarked on Royal Charlotte to visit the fleet at the Nori and honor Admiral Adam Duncan. Adverse winds, however, redirected the ship up the river to Greenwich instead of reaching the mouth of the Thames. Royal Charlotte was recommissioned again in May 1801 under Captain Sir Harry Neal. Captain George Gray assumed command by February 1804. Captain George Henry Towery succeeded Gray later in 1804, followed by Captain Edward Foote in 1805. By 1804, HMY Royal Charlotte was succeeded as the principal royal yacht by the introduction of the slightly larger HMY Royal Sovereign. Captain Edward Foote commanded the yacht until 1812. In 1812, Captain Thomas Isles took over command. Captain George Scott became her commander in June 1814. HMY Royal Charlotte continued in service until July 1820, showcasing its longevity and adaptability over the years. In July 1820, the yacht was finally decommissioned and broken up, marking the end of its service. Throughout this period, HMY Royal Caroline maintained its significance in royal ceremonies and naval events, contributing to the maritime activities of the British monarchy during a pivotal period in European history.
Thanks for watching.